Hi there. Today I have the Fiskars X15 Fiber Comp Axe. You've probably seen one of these. They've gone worldwide. They're used everywhere. I own two. I have one in my quad. I have one here. They're great. I want to talk about them. There's some pros and cons to it like anything. Let's get at it. One of the first things you'll notice when you pull this out of its sheath, or well, I don't know, it's kind of like a case really, is it just snaps in here and it flips over here. Quite user friendly, especially if you had it with you know, people that aren't really experienced with outdoors. It's safe, they access it on the dull end, they pull it away and they have the least you know, chance of cutting themselves here. So, there we go, you can pick it up. I'll set it over here. So what it does, it has kind of a unique blade geometry to it and a unique coating on the blade. It's almost a powder coat on the blade and you can see striations here. If you can hear that. You can hear the machining. They're quite sharp and you can usually tell how sharp something is by whether it'll shave your fingernail. And you can see here, it does that quite easily. Now, Check out the blade geometry here. You can see it's quite stout, but they feathered this edge out quite a bit. When you, you know, you're falling a tree or something like that, or felling a tree, I always mess those up. I apologize for any grammar Nazis out there. This thing really does bite, and you, this axe finds purchase in the wood quite readily. In fact, that's one of the selling points that Fiskars has, is that they say this thing will drive in three times better than other axes. And they have a power to weight ratio they talk about that is equivalent to using an aluminum baseball bat versus a wooden baseball bat. Um, they also talk about a virtually unbreakable um, handle here. A lot of the friends that I have that go out trapping and that are out in the outdoors, they do use these um, because they're cheap, um, it's got the high visibility built into it, you know, they're, they're a great axe. You can use it when you're, you know, with your hands, when it's cold out, it doesn't steal all the heat out. You can choke up on this axe, and what I've found with other axes is, is it's sharp here, and I've cut myself in here when I choke up, but you can choke up on this quite well. Um, there's a lot of really neat pluses here. If you're a survivalist where you might not see somebody um, for six months, I would not take this axe. If you absolutely had to have one of these axes out with you, take two or three, and here's why. I've heard about these breaking. Now this has a lifetime warranty on it, but 30, 40 below, sometimes this can get quite brittle. You're not supposed to leave your axes outside, you're actually supposed to keep them warm. Um, that's for any axe. I think Wetterlings talks about that. Um, the reason I say don't take one of these is because if this breaks, you have no way of mounting this head again. I mean, it's going to be used as a maul right away. You're going to be just using it for splitting. It has a really neat injection process on here, and unless you have that out in the middle of the toolies, which I doubt you do, it, you're kind of like dead in the water with this axe. Have I ever seen one break? No, but I have heard of it. Okay. Now, if you overswing and you hit something here with this thing, it really does bounce back. It is very tough. And if you had this in a warmer climate, say, you know, below, you know, in the United States or something like that, not up in Canada where it's a little bit colder, I doubt you would see many of these broken. Now, it did come from Finland. The company has a very good pedigree of making some really, really nice tools for the last 360 years. No, I didn't make a mistake. That's right off their website. Uh, it's designed in Belenis, Finland. Um, Overall, it's 2.31 pounds. It has a total weight of 3.4 pounds, so 2.31 for the head. Um, it has the lifetime warranty that I've already spoken about. It's not bad. Geometry-wise, if you take a look back here, it's, you know, it's, it's roughly finished here, but most people are going to beat the crap out of that, um, driving in nails and spikes and tent pegs and all sorts of different little implements here. So um, overall, I think this is a great axe. Just be able to get back to civilization if you need to take it back for some warranty work. Um, but you know what, how many people use an axe hardcore? Not too many, and even the ones that do use them hardcore that I've been around and I've watched this used 
and abused, and I haven't seen one fail yet, um, they like them too because they almost treat them like throwaway axes. They're excellent. I really like this end here. When you slide your hand down here, it grabs back at you. It really does. You grab on and it's like you're not slipping off of here, not on my watch, it's saying basically. I like that. Um, you could maybe put some survival items up in this hollow. I'm not sure how far it goes down. Let's take a look. Well, it goes down there a ways. You might be able to put something in there, wedge some matches or something like that in there. But in summary, great axe. Probably 99.9% .9 of the people out there that buy this axe will be very, very happy with it. But if you are a hardcore trapper or someone that's going to expose this to temper ex temperature extremes, go back to wood. All right. Thanks for watching.